Hi, and welcome to Straight Shot Radio. My name is Johnny Slick, and I'm the owner and head coach at Straight Shot Training. Now, just for my opening there, can you tell what it is that I do here at Straight Shot? Because I have to answer that question a lot to people whenever I say that I run an online personal training company. They ask, well, how does that work? Because most people who are asking this question either are training with me or know that I'm a personal trainer. So they see me as a trainer who works one-on-one with people or maybe in a small group setting or large group setting or maybe as the adjunct professor who works with future trainers, training them to become personal trainers. But a whole other section of what I do as a personal trainer exists online. So I wanted to go through today a couple of the questions that people have or misconceptions that people have about online personal training or online training programs so you so that you all can get an idea of what it is that I do with Straight Shot and what exactly Straight Shot is. 55 episodes ago on episode one, we had the whole explanation of Straight Shot laid out for you all, what Straight Shot is, why I created it. If you haven't listened to that episode, you can go back and listen to it. I did not have a nice microphone back then, so it's literally just me talking into my uh, MacBook, just the microphone on the top of the computer. So uh, bear with the audio on that, please. But it gives you a good explanation of why I created Straight Shot. But I still have a lot of people asking questions about what it is. So we'll get into it right now. First first question or misconception people have about online trainers is they want to know, well, how are you training somebody that you never see? It's a good question. So with the athletes on the Straight Shot Training Program, And any athlete that I would train remotely if I was doing online personal training, which is something that's coming to Straight Shot on the website soon, if you're looking for something very individualized, that's what you'd be looking for is is the online personal training, whereas the Straight Shot training program is a functional fitness program that addresses the needs of 90 to 95% of adults or teenagers. So when they ask me how I train somebody who I don't see, I typically say, well, there's these awesome things called Facebook Messenger and Instagram Messenger and Skype, video chats. So my athletes can send me videos at any time of one of their lifts and I can review their form. Uh, I might send uh, a video back explaining something while I'm doing it. Uh, And you can actually train people really well by never seeing them. Now, that being said, I do recommend that anyone who trains with me online has already worked out a little bit in person with either me or with another trainer or they've just been working out for a little bit and know their way around the gym because I wouldn't want somebody who was brand new to working out start doing a program where they didn't even know where their heels were supposed to be on a squat. Don't know where your heels are supposed to be on a squat. They need to stay down. So if they have no clue what they're doing in the gym, they should not be doing an online program, honestly. Even though I'm selling an online program, and I am an online coach, I will tell you, go work with a personal trainer in person first or get a friend to help you or make sure you are videotaping every single rep of everything you're doing and sending it to me uh, if you want to start working out with an online trainer and you've never worked out before. So that's typically what I explain to my clients is that people who do online training are typically people who have at least worked out a little bit before. And they're probably maybe too busy to have time to work with a trainer. They have sporadic schedules. They can't afford a trainer. Online training is much more affordable than in-person training for a lot of people. And there's a lot of different reasons why people might want to do an online training program, but the majority of them are already people who work out in a gym on a regular basis. So usually the next question after that is, So do you have to write each person's workout and send it out each week or how does that work? So that's where I explain to them the difference and I'll explain to you all the difference between online personal training and an online training program. Online personal training, you would tell me what your goals were, what your current program was, what equipment you have access to, your uh, age, height, weight, all of that stuff will go into 
the construction of your program because that you that program will be 100% yours unique to you that's the the online personal training side which I have done in the past and I'm about to start doing again through straight shot I'm not doing too much of it right now I'm doing it on a case to case by case basis uh, right now but I put a few things in place to allow me to do it um, a little faster be a little more streamlined with it used to take me forever and uh, I'm doing some things now to, to make it a little easier to do because it's individualized. I'm not copying and pasting somebody else's workout and giving it to you. You are getting your program. That takes time. So that's the online personal training stuff. The, an online training program like Straight Shot Training is a training program that's designed to meet the needs of a specific group with a similar goal Everyone signs up or pays a subscription or downloads or however they, the product is delivered to them, and they all do the same workout. That seems weird to people at first when you say that. Like, oh, they, they all do the same workout? Well, go to any group exercise class, and you will be doing the same workout as everybody else in their room. And most likely the same workout that Everybody in all the other gyms that offer that same class are doing at the same time your class is being offered. So, yes, online training programs are not unique to the individual. But a lot of training programs are not unique to the individual. Unless you're doing personal training, it's not going to be unique to you. And I will add this little piece, this little nugget here. There's online personal training and there are online training programs. And there's some middle ground in here that I am not a fan of and I would like to publicly denounce, and that is online trainers that market it as personal training but are just selling a program that they don't change and changing the athlete's name on the email or on the spreadsheet or however they're getting to that person and charging them the personal training price for something they should be charging the online training program price for. I won't get into the exact numbers because every personal trainer is different and every training program is different, but typically a personal training program that is designed just for you, for your exact goals, for maybe an event you're getting ready for or a specific maybe body composition goal you have, that's going to be more expensive than an online training program that's designed to meet the needs of a specific population. So the people who do straight shot training are people who want to be better at everyday activities. They want to move better. They want to feel great. They want to look good in the, in the process of achieving those, those functional fitness goals. And I'm able to make one program to address those needs for the majority of people who, who would be looking at online training programs. Whereas an online personal training program would meet the needs of that individual who is signing up. So it could be just about any type of, of person with any type of goal could come to me as an online personal trainer and pay for a program. It's just they're going to pay more than a person who is signing up on the Straight Shot Training Program, which is a more general physical fitness program. So that's the difference between online personal training and online training program. Again, let's not worry about the people who are doing the stuff in the middle, which is charging the personal training rate for an online program that they're just changing the names on and the spreadsheets. Uh, that's the type of thing. Sorry about that. Our blind dog just walked over one of Wesley's toys. Uh, that's the one of those things when people are doing things like that business-wise as a personal trainer that are uh, not very savory type things. It's one of those things where you might win in the short term as a trainer doing that. You might make a lot of money. But in the long term, I mean, this is a this is a long game when you when you think about how long most of us intend on working as personal trainers and how many people we get to work with over the course of how many years. That's not going to work out for you in the long term. It's people are going to start figuring it out and stop paying for your services, or you're going to get a bad reputation as a trainer. So I don't want to get too much into the negative points of that. I like to keep things very positive, so we'll get back on track. But to me, there's two types of, of personal training. And I like to ignore that other type in the middle. <laughs> so that's the other. That's the question that people have a lot: is is how exactly it works if you're training one person versus if you're training a group of people. So the third question of these three most commonly asked 
questions about online personal training is, well, what is the straight shot training program that you're talking about? Since I've already told them about online personal training and how I'm able to train people who I don't see and what the difference between online personal training and an online training program is, then they want to know, well, what is an online training program and what do you do as a coach? So I've talked a lot before about like what straight shot is and why I've developed it. You can go back to that first episode on episode one of why I started straight shot and hear all about it there. But what I haven't really shared with you all is what I do as a coach with the program. So I wanted to come at it from that angle because that's typically how I explain it to these people who are asking me about it. Um, if they're asking me specifically what is it that I do as a coach for an online training program. So the first thing I do with Straight Shot is every year I break the entire year into six-week cycles. Each of these cycles is going to focus on a different component of functional fitness. It might focus on stability, work capacity or endurance, or hypertrophy, which is gaining muscle size or muscle density, lean muscle mass. We might focus on maximal strength. We might focus on power or rate of force production. And then throughout the year, we might blend several of those cycles or you know, maybe up to three or four of those cycles into these, these blended cycles of six, these six weeks blocks of training throughout the year. So training is broken into six week blocks throughout the year figure out the entire year, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to break it up. And then I get to work on the first cycle or two cycles and I program out what we're going to be doing each day. So is this going to be upper body, lower body, active recovery day, upper body, lower body conditioning day, or is it going to be push, pull, active recovery, then upper, lower, or push, pull, active recovery, push, pull, then conditioning? Is it going to be full body workouts? Is it going to be almost like a body part split? Like you're going to be doing all of your back movements one day, all of your chest movements another day, all of your shoulders movements another day, all of your leg movements another day. There's a lot of different ways of splitting it up. Uh, it's one of the, the fun things that about programming is that it's like a little puzzle. You get to piece all these different things together. You get to try different things out. Some things work, some things don't. And you learn the more that you do this as a coach, especially as you get feedback back from your athletes. You test things out on yourself first, and then you give it to your athletes after that. So all the things that I put into the program are things that I've already tested out myself. In my own training, maybe now, it may have been a year ago, I just keep a lot of notes on what I do as I work out. So I break the year up in these cycles, and then I break the cycles into each week what they're going to be doing uh, from like a like a, a macro view, meaning you know, roughly what we're doing each day. Then I start populating each of those days with what are we doing that day for our main lifts? Are we going to be focusing this cycle, this six-week cycle? Are we going to be focusing on back squats or box squats or front squats? Are we going to be focusing on bench press or floor press or incline press? Are we focusing on strict press or push press or jerks? Are we focusing on deadlifts or sumo deadlifts or block pulls? So, so, many different of our, so many different versions of our main lifts because we do really love strict press, bench press, deadlift, and squat and all the variations of those. So from there, once I figure out where I want to go with those main movements, which is the most, really the most important part, then I figure out, okay, what are our accessory movements that day? Are we doing a lot of accessory stuff with barbells, different st styles of deadlifts, different styles of pressing, different uh, lunging exercises with the bar, or do we want to use more dumbbells, or are we going to use more body weight, or are we going to be using more kettlebells, and so those are the types of things that then I put into the accessory work. After I'm finished that, then I figure out, okay, what are we going to do for our circuits? Now, the circuits, we do one strength training circuit a week. Sometimes we'll do a cardio circuit on our conditioning day if we're not doing some type of sprinting workout. So then I start making the circuits. And the circuits are going to have a lot of similar exercises as the accessory work, but they're going to be in different set and rep schemes. And they might be as many rounds as possible, or it might be each minute on the minute, or it might be rounds for time. I know this probably sounds like Latin to a lot of you, but a lot of different ways of doing circuits. Honestly, circuits are, are just another way of strength training. You don't have to do circuits to get f functionally fit. It's just become the norm that you just do circuits if you, you're doing functional fitness. 
I program circuits because people in the program like doing circuits, but honestly, me personally, I do not do that many in my own training. I'll test things out if I'm going to use it in in my programming, but I have not uh, seen a, a significant uh, a detriment in my fitness by not by not doing circuits. What I would do instead, rather do instead of those, I would rather sprint. Some people don't like sprinting, so they would rather do circuits for some of their cardio. So I totally get that. So I write the circuits into the program. After that, then I look at, okay, now that we have our main movement, main movements in, we have our accessory work on the days where we have our circuit instead of accessory work, we have our circuits. Now, how do we want to approach warming up for this? Because it's super important to me to make sure that my athletes are prepared. So then I figure out what are we doing for mobility to get you into good positions and then what are we doing for prehab or stability to get those muscles activated to hold your joints in those positions and move you in and out of those positions correctly, safely, throughout that workout. So then we come up with the prehab workouts at the end. Then I come up with the cool downs of what do we need to focus on foam rolling or lacrosse ball work wise to make sure that you are recovered enough for the next day's training. Then I go through and I figure out what are we doing for our conditioning days. Are we focusing on short sprints or a little bit longer of runs? Are we going to spend more time on the rower and the ski erg? Or are we going to be doing um, all, all track work, like sprinting, all treadmill stuff? Are we going to be doing that many cardio circuits? Or are we going to be spending more time doing intervals? So then I come up with the conditioning work. And then I finish with the active recovery uh, days where I figure out, well, how much total work have we done that week? And on our recovery day, how light should I make this recovery day if we've had a really rough week or can we um, do a little bit longer recovery work just from some extra aerobic work if we have a shorter sprint later in the week or however it looks like we're laying it out that week. The re- active recovery work is going to be um, uh, put in around the rest of the week after that. So that's what I do when it comes to constructing this program uh, on a week by week well, on a uh, cycle by cycle basis, on a week by week basis, then every week when we get ready to send the email out, at some point during the week, I will finalize the workout, make sure everything looks good, and then put all of that into a document where I insert hot links to all of the YouTube videos one by one, so that our athletes will know exactly what they're doing when it comes time to do that movement. And then all of that gets sent to my lovely wife who puts together these incredible emails. Rachel does an awesome job with these emails. Uh, So they look really cool when they get sent out to our athletes. We have links in there to the podcasts. We have links to where you can buy our t-shirt. We have links to different YouTube playlists that I have for foam rolling. Uh, And of course, all of the links to the exercises. Any special instructions that I've written into the email, all of that is done on a week-by-week basis. So you can see there's a lot of work that goes into this every week, which is one of the the other things I do outside of personal training in person is this weekly stuff for straight shot training. It's not just me trying to post every day that I can on on straight on uh, Instagram or trying to answer emails or uh, do different stuff on Facebook or YouTube or whatever. It's just managing the the workouts that are going out to all these athletes. So, yep, that's what I'm doing on a week-to-week basis as the head coach of straight shot training. Uh, the other stuff with marketing, I have uh, some people helping me out. Shout out John and Natasha who are helping me out with some of the marketing stuff. Um, I have another friend named Chris who's helping me out with some of the business stuff of Straight Shot. And of course, Rachel, who is handling all of the website and the uh, graphic design and the email. So I have a, a team of people who help me with that stuff. But when it comes to the workouts, um, it is I'm doing everything when it comes to the programming of the workouts uh, and, and figuring out what you all are going to be doing over the course of the year, all the way down to what you're going to be doing that day, every single lift. Um, So I do get to coach you. It just looks differently in the way I'm delivering it than if I was coaching you in person. If this was a group exercise class and I had, you know, a group of 15 people, I would be talking you all through the straight shot training workout and all 15 of you will be doing the workout and all 15 of you will be getting a good workout. So it's, it's tough for me to, to see the difference in people doing a workout as a group and me offering this program to a 
much broader group of people because anyone anywhere can get straight shot because some people think, well, but everybody gets the same program. Well, yes, but if you go to a Zumba class, you're doing the same Zumba workout as everybody else. And if you go to a functional fitness gym, you're going to do the same workout as everybody, as the same wad that everybody does that day, you're going to get to do. But everybody's getting fit while they're doing it. So if you're curious about training with straight shot training, you should head over to our website, straightshottraining.com, click on the free month button at the top. That'll take you to a page that explains to you what you get with straight shot training, and that's six workouts a week. You can also get all the demo videos. You get our nutritional protocol. You get access to a private Facebook group where I do live coaching chats on Sundays. Hey, there's another thing I do as a coach. I also do live coaching chats for about a half hour on Sunday evenings explaining the entire week of workouts to you. I'll recap the last week's workouts and then answer any questions that anybody has regarding the upcoming program, your upcoming week of the program, or any questions they have personally about equipment or substitution exercises if they don't have a piece of equipment or how to make straight shot training work at home because a large portion of the people who are on straight shot just have equipment at home that they do it with and and we're able to make it work for them so um, that's another thing you get with straight shot training even with the free month you get access to that private facebook group where i do those live coaching chats and that first month is free there are no contracts so if you just want to try that first month out you can cancel at any time before you're charged for your first month after that month, free month ends. But even after that free month, it's just $21 a month. Just a, a little comparison. $21 is less than you would pay for one half hour with me as a personal trainer. So again, the website is straightshottraining.com. My email is johnny at straightshottraining.com. If you have any questions about the program, again, straightshottraining.com. You click on free month at the top. That's how you get started with that first free month. Also, if you're on the main homepage and you want to read about everything that's included in Straight Shot, again, if you click on let's get started at the bottom and it takes you to the subscribe page, that still is your, your free month there. However you subscribe for straight subscribe to Straight Shot, your first month will always be free. Any questions you have about the program, what equipment you need if you have a home gym, If you are looking to find a gym and you want me to recommend you a place to go to, johnny at straightshottraining.com or you can just click the contact us button when you go to straightshottraining.com. I would love to answer any questions you have about getting started with the program so I can help you get off to a good start with the Straight Shot Training program. Any questions you have that you would like me to answer on a future podcast, send them over there too, johnny at straightshottraining.com. You can also find me on social media using the handle at Straight Shot Training or on Facebook, just search for Straight Shot Training. Thank you so much for listening today and have a great week, everybody.